Well, I'm getting some serious money today to address problems at two train crossings. Talking millions of dollars to try and help over 24,000 daily drivers and first responders. But we know many of you in other parts of our area are also struggling with long delays from blocked trains crossing. So our Olivia and Icambis tonight has some details not only on this money, but how some of our other local cities are trying to get the same help for their blocked crossings. That's right. This is happening in a lot of areas in Alabama, and the city of Pelham has been awarded a record-breaking grant of over $41 million for the Olympics elimination of two different dangerous railroad crossings on Shelby County Road 52. But other areas like you're saying also face those same problems. I spoke with Trustful City Council about how they're also looking for a grant to improve crossing delays there. I mean, this has been a a huge uh, amount of money that has been made available by the federal government. So as soon as that was released, we wanted to be able to take advantage of that. The city of Pelham says they just got the largest grant of its kind in the nation. When a funding source like this come, becomes available, it, it's that's the game changer, really. They hope it will enhance safety and mobility in Pelham and solve the longstanding problem of blocked crossings. The population of Pelham in 1968 was less than 1,000. Our population now is bumping 25,000. Population is up, train traffic is up, car traffic is up. So there's no, no one should be surprised why we're here. Trustful is another city that struggled with dangerous train delays. Blockages are the biggest problem. We have a, a Highway 11 runs parallel with uh, the Norfolk Southern Line and sometimes it will block our main thoroughfare, which causes a lot of problems with traffic, uh, a safety issue. We have a neighborhood here that does not have uh, another way out. City Council President Lisa Bright tells me they got shot down for one grant, but are hopeful for a different one, which is still about $30 million less than what Pelham just received. The, the planning grant that we wrote for $10 million will be to gather all of the engineering and uh, design work that would take place if we were to actually build bridges and underpasses uh, in the two different areas, one for Birmingham and one for Trustful. She says this is just the start of changes needed in Alabama. There's there's lots of need for monies to go around the entire state for um, train issues. Now in Pelham, there'll be environmental studies, still roadway design, bridge design, traffic analysis, and much more before construction can begin. So leaders say they don't exactly have that timeline quite yet.